What's up everybody? I'm Matt Brody and right now I'm in the middle of an airport runway waiting for Air Force One to land and I'm all by myself. I beat the rest of the news crews out here. I've got a press pass to be out here to take some photos once the president lands and I'm really excited to share some of that with you. But right now I'm also a little nervous because who knows how many things are aimed at me at the moment because I'm just out here by myself. So here's where things get a little bit interesting. As we were waiting on the platform for Air Force One to land, a huge storm came rolling in with thunder and lightning and tremendous amount of rain. So everyone on the press platform had to get moved inside along with all the spectators and stuff. It's pouring and so everything's delayed and now I'm getting wet. The rain caused delays in the landing, which meant that as soon as Air Force One landed, we had to scramble out to get our stuff into place to get the shots that we needed. Just for reference, I'm taking pictures right here. Because of the delays, the president didn't have as much time on the ground to do photo ops as everyone had hoped. So he basically came out of the plane, he met with Governor McMaster, they shook hands, they got a limo, and they took off. I'm standing out in front of Air Force One. However, once they left, everybody pretty much cleared the area and I had Air Force One to photograph all to myself. Except for all those guys with the guns that you couldn't see hiding away, making sure I didn't actually go anywhere near Air Force One. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video cool. I know I sure had a great time getting to experience Air Force One sort of in person. It's a really incredible aircraft and it's just an amazing thing to see in person. If you've never gotten to see Air Force One and you get the chance, I highly recommend that you go. Uh, forget the politics of it. It is a piece of our American history and it is incredible to see up close. And just a quick other little bit of a, a note I wanna say to all the men and women whose job it is to keep Air Force One and the President safe as he travels, you guys are amazing. Everybody I met from, uh, from the government, from, from Washington, D.C., from the White House, all that staff, uh, you guys were incredible. Uh, you were all polite and kind and just amazing to work with. To all of the, the 
Secret Service agents to all of the local law enforcement that were there doing their jobs. Everybody was fantastic. Everybody did a phenomenal job. And to those of you who are local law enforcement that worked some of this, uh, you guys were awesome. That kind of goes above and beyond your normal call of duty, so to speak. But uh, I just want to say thank you for doing what you do to keep us and the president safe, uh, particularly when he's traveling around like that. So thank you very much. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And hit the little freedom bell there so you get notified of new episodes when they come out. And until next time, thanks, God bless.